Can you tell me what it means to be living under the occupation? What does that mean? What is the occupation? Um, is it like the example for people who take your land and they uh, 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 say that it's, it belongs to them and you have the, every proof in the world that it, the land is yours but you can't enter it. Uh, occupation al also means that uh, you will keep in tense situation. You will never uh, see get uh, anything good in your life. Everything you do, there is something would uh, could ruin it. Uh, occupation means that you could be uh, Israelis could break down and go into your home in the night and arrest you for nothing. Last year. They broke up my, our house to dance and they came to investigate with my dad. It's like three in the morning. They like, we were sleeping and they like just broke into our house. And they like <laughs> told us to get out of the house. And it was like, it's three in the morning. It's so, so cold. And my dad like was arrested six times. They just uh, go and throw some rocks in the armies and the army start shooting people with uh, bullets and tear gas bombs. We, uh, we feel angry and also afraid. Purple feeling. <laughs> affect us in a bad yeah, way. Us. Because like we're so afraid that like one of my brothers or uncles, cousins maybe shooting the demonstration. So yeah, and uh, man in the street, uh, like close the uh, the street, uh, uh, shoot the guys. Uh, bullet here. I have uh, bullet here man. in the school. Yes, this. Laman. He shoot me here. Who? <laughs> he he is my cousin. He had been arrested two times and. The first time they came, as she said, at 3 in the morning, they broke everything in the house and they like, had him, even without his shoe, he had to go uh, with, uh, with them and they, uh, they tortured him in the, in the, uh, between the, like, in the investigation. We live like, like your life, but the difference is that we have occupation it's like every time I want to go to school in the morning, I go to school in Jerusalem. So I get like to go through a checkpoint, and that's so annoying for me to like take a permission to enter to my land, to look at like my grandfather's land and see as a Israeli settlement there. It's so hard for me to see like small kids in hospitals with bullets in their heads and legs, and they did nothing to see all these like women and girls putting their hands on their nose because like they smell that gas they threw at us to see the wall that separates my me from my family in other cities inside the wall i hope that uh, this situation could be, uh, will be ended uh, the Israelis should understand what they are doing. There should be a, a response from everyone in the world. The UN, uh, they, like big countries like the UK, the US, they should do something about what's happening. Silence should be broken. 